So a quick overview on what I've done with regard to vac lines. Um, so let's have a, have a look. So you've obviously got a vac source from your turbo housing. So this is the boost. This will measure the actual boost that the turbo was making. And a lot of times you can connect that straight to your actuator. And that would mean that your boost level is determined by the spring weight within your actuator. So you'd have no control over it, it would just be the spring. Then what you can do is between the turbo housing and your actuator, you could put a manual boost gauge. So you could manually dial um, your boost pressure. But again, it's only sort of one step on from your actuator. Um, so what I've done is obviously I've got a feed from the turbo housing, goes here, goes into my electronic boost controller, and then the boost controller is in between the line that then goes to the actuator. So as I've spoken before on other videos, when this is plugged in and tuned, this can trick the actuator. So basically there may be a seven PSI spring in the actuator, but this controller could let the turbo build up to say 10 psi and vent the rest of the, um, the the vac or air or whatever and trick the actuator into thinking that it hasn't got to 10 and it's still at six and it doesn't need to move that type of thing so that's what an electronic boost controller does and that's plumbed in between your um, turbo cold housing and your actuator so that's that side of things on my setup I've got a blower valve which is hidden down here. The blower valve um, is basically wanting to measure pressure on the intake side of the engine. So basically you're wanting to um, uh, measure what the intake vacuum is. So obviously when the, when the throttle body here closes, the vacuum in the intake changes and this hose directly from the intake, this was the purge valve takeoff. So this is an intake, um, um, source so this is measuring the exact boost or vac that you def you have in the engine so um, this is after everything else after blow off valves and all this kind of stuff this is measuring what is actually in the engine and what it's, what it does is when you close the throttle and you've got all this pressure built up in this pipe this me um, this measures the the vacuum and tells the blow off valve to um, in this case partly recirculate into the intake or vent to atmosphere. So that's the vac line and you want that from your intake. The other side of my intake here is a, through to my um, boost gauge. So um, if I measured boost gauge boost here, it wouldn't necessarily be accurate because I might have vented some through the blow off valve or something like that. Or So basically this boost is is reading exactly what's in the engine so it's taken all the other parameters out and it's basically saying if i'm running five psi it's five psi going straight into the engine and it's it's taken out all the other variables so that's that's that one so those are your two boosts there um the other one on your vac line is over here so this is the brake vacuum line i could have taken that off here um but at that stage I, I hadn't thought of it to be honest and it was the first thing I did so what I've taken off is your brake vacuum that goes across here also directly from your intake manifold I've teed off into the um, map sensor so this is the three bar map sensor and that's the other vac line that I've, that I've done so you've got your vac to the map vac to the boost gauge vac to your blower valve and then obviously you've got your vac um, to your electronic boost controller and back to the actuator and that, as far as I know, my limited knowledge is the best way that I've been told and I've researched to set up the back lines. So that's how I've done it. So it uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it's just research and or just copy this. So this is a little mini filter, air filter. Um, it has a 12 mil inlet and this is an eight mil um, hose. So this is an eight to 12 um, so it would, it's reducers from 12 to 8, so that's a reducer in there, some clips on there, and this is basically what I want to vent the other line, the other end of the um, purge valve. So that's connected to your charcoal canister, um, so this is obviously fuel. And what I want to do is I'm thinking is I want to vent this to atmosphere, but I don't particularly, I could vent it into maybe a corner of the engine bay, um, but it'd be quite nice to vent it outside and I was thinking I could actually 
maybe put it in there um, and at least then it's not in the engine compartment any fuel vapors that type of thing but that is going to be connected to the end of that I've actually been able to just wedge it between the bulkhead and the plastic piece I was a little bit worried about banging around creating noise but that's really good it's literally just wedged there so that's a good vent to the outside that's fine and then I'm just feeding it through the brake part and like I said I'm gonna to go to here